Chloe Chafe is a visual artist that works with Graffiti Art Programming, Studio 393, and is currently the Outreach Coordinator for National Youth Arts Week. Chloe believes that art should be for the public and accessible to everyone, which is the inspiration in co-founding Synonym Art Consultation. Um, okay, so I'm Chloe Chafe. Um, I work with Graffiti Gallery, Studio 393. I'm a co-founder of Synonym Art Consultation, as well as now the Outreach Coordinator for National Youth Arts Week. So I'm here to talk about how I spend my days devoted to both growing and sustaining Manitoba's art scene uh, with the three main ideals uh, that, I, that are cemented into my practice. This is Saeed Man doing live art at the Graffiti Art Gallery. <laughs> so number one is use art to create community. Everyone wants to be a part of something and I can't reiterate how important this is. By attending arts events, workshops, drop-in centers, or even being a part of online community, you can develop not just as an artist, but as, just, but as an individual. In both Graffiti Gallery and Synonym, we thrive on collaboration. Artistic collaboration will strengthen one's work and create a network of support that is imperative to us as human beings. This is Les doing a breakdance move at Graffiti Gallery. <laughs> Some of my favorite collaborations this year have included P Should Not Be This Fragile at, Graf at Graffiti Gallery, where youth connected to make art uh, on the subject of so violence against women in the Congo. This linked us as a city to the, to the international art community. Secondly was All Mass, my favorite art collective from Montreal who, took, who take over spaces with black and white paint. On a conceptual level, this project unites artists, and as painters, everyone plays off each other's unique styles to all create one task. I think this is a pretty good way to live. Here's Gabrielle Funk and Nirio. <laughs> Working real hard. Um, there are many other creative, uh, sorry, diverse ways to express yourself in a group setting in Winnipeg. Here we have the Rainbow Trout uh, Bike Jam, which I also work with. So this is where hundreds of people of all ages all gather in one spot. And, and ride around our city laughing and screaming and <laughs> building our community. Here's one of my art shows with Synonym Art Consultation at Deseo Bistro. So this is just your classic form of art community going to an art show. This gives your art support, artists support and just kind of gives them that extra pull. Secondly is paying your artists. Paying your artists is a huge problem that this, that's this city has. Somehow eating locally, wearing local clothing has ingrained itself in people's minds, but we struggle to get paid as artists. As Synonym, we are constantly trying to find ways to make art financially accessible for consumers. So we do this by selling prints versus originals, giving businesses more responsibility if they do want art. Um, here is an example of uh, Honolulu, who we did their CD release. So it's as simple as paying cover. So Winnipeg is notorious for hating cover charge <laughs> uh, for as simple as a concert. This is how performance, performers can make albums, go on tour, or even get paid. I would love it if I could just plant the seeds in everyone's minds on where your money is going. Please, for the love of God, don't buy a photo of the Eiffel Tower from Ikea. <laughs> buy a piece of local art and feed an artist, like Kenneth Lavely, who's currently in BC after his show with us uh, along these lines. Next up, I want to talk about youth and art. Now, youth and art is my number one. <laughs> um, it's the deciding factor on where Winnipeg will be in the next 20 years. So at Studio 393 in Portage Place, we offer hip-hop programming for youth. It's free, it's downtown, and it's a safe place for youth to push themselves in all factors of, of their being. If we can manage to provide youth, mentoring youth, uh, sorry, <laughs> we can manage to provide mentoring for youth, art supplies, and music, um, the generations to come will do the same, leaving with a city solid as a rock. These are some of our breakers at Studio 393. <laughs> They're called the Deep Boys. So, just to kind of bring it all in, uh, National Youth Arts Week is May 1st to 7th, where all of Canada unites um, to purely celebrate creativity in youth. I highly encourage everyone to support the youth in your life to accomplish their dreams. As a 22-year-old in the industry, I would like to, I would be nowhere without the community that surrounds me daily. 
um, standing up for myself financially and my mentors along the way. One of them is uh, Patrick Skeen here, who's my boss and absolute mentor. So May 1st to 7th, please just hug the youth in your life, push them to do what they want to do. And uh, if you are youth, go do something. <laughs> That's it. Mm-hmm.